Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you, Amber? Uh, poquito complicado. Voy manejando bajo esta tormenta que está cayendo. Acabo de salir de San Miguel. He estado oh casi God. dos horas ahí dando vueltas a ver It's... cómo salía de ahí. Ok, quédate conectado igual, no te desconectes. Don't get disconnected, please. Ok. 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 You, ok. Hi, Dinora. Good evening. Hello, Nelson. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, Oscar Arnulfo. Hi, teacher. How are you? Oh, fine. How are you? Fine, too. Oh, nice. How was your weekend? Como estuvo el fin de? How was your weekend? It's, it's heavy. You and funny. Heavy. Oh, really? Heavy and funny. Do, do, you, yes. work on, do you work on Sundays? Uh, Sunday? No, Saturday. Only Sunday. Saturday. <laughs> On Sunday, you, you stay with your family, I imagine. I Sunday, everywhere. Everywhere. Donde quiera. <laughs> Sunday is family time. With family? Yes, definitely. Good. It's good to know. Hi, Ana Beatriz. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Ben, I'm fine. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. you. I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Just ready for a new class. Dinora, just a question for you. Um, how many classes have you missed? ¿Cuántas clases ha faltado tú, Dinora? Just one. Just one class. Ah, okay. No problem. The, the problem is that if you miss four classes, you are like on the border. Ok, si faltamos cuatro clases, estamos al borde, estamos en la línea del 80%, ok? We are on the border. Oh, but it's only one, no problem. Just one. Ok, and you, Oscar? I think two, right? Uh, Or three? No. Or one, no and half. One, one and a half. half. <laughs> one and a half, like one and a half, man. The, the, the field class only connected to listening. Oh, okay. Ne next day, is, uh, I connected to 9 p.m. Okay, I got it. All right. So it's only one and a half class, you said, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Hi, Glory Bell. Hi. How are you? I am fine. Thank oh, you. nice. It's good to see you. Hi, Frida. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. Still, still at work? Aún yeah. en el trabajo, still at work? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay, so uh, let me pass the attendance quickly. So we start with, uh, with today's class, okay? So let's see. Just let me move this cable. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see um, Alejandro Antonio. Ana Abigail. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ok, Cristian Ernesto. Ember Giovanni. He's driving, I think, ok. Frida. Present. All right. Juan Carlos Alas. Jacqueline Iset. Juan Carlos Rivas is not present, right? Uh, I'm here. Sorry? I'm here. All right, all right, it's okay. Don't worry, I put the attendance already. Okay, Eunice. 
María Elena. Mauricio Antonio. Nelson. Omar Francisco. Present teacher. Ok, ok, Nelson. Omar Francisco. Present. Ok. Thank you, Omar. Oscar Arnulfo. I hear. Ok. Ok, uh, let's continue. Uh, Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Oscar Ernesto. Rocío Lourdes. Present. Ok, thank you. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joana. Yesenia Marisol. Dinora Alejandra. Present. Ok, en José Galileo. Teacher, aquí estoy todavía. Ok. <laughs> Let me put the attendance here quickly. All right, thank you, Juan Carlos. All right, everybody. So uh, welcome to this uh, to today's session. All right. First, I want to say um, thank you very much for completing the tasks of last week in the midterm. All right, in the midterm uh, test. Gracias por completar las tareas de la semana pasada y por completar también el midterm. Okay, because I think almost everybody did. Okay. In, in su porcentaje, lo que están frecuentes, todos lo hicieron. So thank you very much for that. So we start this third week. Basically, we are in the middle, right? Básicamente, estamos a la mitad. Basically, we are in the middle of the module. Estamos a la mitad del módulo 3. So please um, try not to miss classes. Traten de no faltar a clases de aquí en adelante. Try not to miss classes. Los que no han faltado, congratulations, ¿ok? Y los que han faltado, tratemos de no estar de no faltar, ¿ok? Les decía al principio de que lo máximo que podemos faltar son cuatro clases, por clases, ¿ok? Después de cuatro clases ya caen en la línea que va abajo del 80%. So that's like the, 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 the maximum number of classes that you can, that you can miss, all right? Eso es lo que pueden faltar, ¿ok? So, uh, so please, try to, to, to be like attending classes, ¿ok? And with the homework, con las tareas también, tratemos de llevarlas al día, ¿ok? And try to advance, like, at the beginning of the week. Y tratemos de avanzar al inicio de la semana, ¿ok? La idea es que después no se les acumule trabajo. O a veces se les puede bloquear el usuario. Imagínense que algunos trabajando el viernes y se les bloquea el, el usuario el viernes. Y yo el viernes tengo que reportar la, las notas. O sea, es bien complicado. It's super complicated, ¿ok? So please try to work from the beginning of the week. Traten de trabajar desde el principio de semana, ¿ok? So on Friday, you're free. Para que el viernes ya estén libres. So on Friday, you are free, okay? Um, so let's start, uh, let's start with the class then. It's raining a little here. Por aquí está lloviendo un poco. Y creo que va a empezar ahorita la tormenta. Así que, si en algún momento no se me escucha, please let me know. Háganmelo saber para subir un poquito la voz, okay? Yeah, please. Okay, so let's start. Uh, so for today, we have a new unit, obviously. Tenemos nueva unidad, obviamente. We have new unit, okay? And for today, uh, the unit is, let me go here. <clears throat> Just let me look for the, for the, for the exercises. Okay, so uh, the unit we have for today is communication at the workplace, okay? Communication at the workplace. Yes, what, what, what comes to your mind when you hear communication at the workplace? ¿Qué se le viene a la mente? What comes to your mind? Communication at the workplace. Comunicación en el trabajo. Okay, yeah, comunicación en el trabajo. But tell me a word that comes to your mind, a different word in English. Una palabra diferente que se le viene a la mente en inglés. Like related to communication at work. Maybe you can say, speak, teacher, speak. Okay, tell me another word, please. Tell me words that come to your mind. Díganme palabras que vienen a la mente. When you listen, communication at the workplace. What comes to your mind? ¿Qué se le viene a la mente? What comes to your mind? I said speak. Okay, speak, like speak. All right, what else? ¿Qué más? What else? Nothing comes to your mind. Like, thinking, 
Oh, oh, sorry, uh, Rocío. Lenguaje del trabajo. Ok, language, language at work. Okay. Language. Uh, language at work. Rocío. For example, as for directions. Directions, okay, that's very good. As for directions, excellent. Uh, anybody else, alguien más? I think it was Oscar Nulfo. Orders. Orders, command, that's right. Communication at the workplace, orders, okay? Commands, very good. What else, come on. Ask for help, for example, ask for help. Teamwork, okay, tell me more, DM me más, tell me more. You are in a, in, a work, in a work context, so I guess you know the words that come to your mind when you listen to the word communication at the workplace. ¿Qué más se le viene a la mente? What else comes to your mind? Send report, meeting. Reports, meetings. Material order. Material order. Raw material. Only that. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for your participation in this activity. Uh, as I said, right? And uh, the name of the unit is communication at the, at the workplace. Okay. And here we have the name of the unit, right? Communication at the workplace. All right. So let's start with the first activity. Okay. And hold on a second. And on the first activity, we have this. Okay. Hold on. We have these questions. Okay. So question number one is, do you usually help, okay, your coworkers or colleagues with their tasks? Do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? You say, oh, yes, I do. When they ask me for help, I help them, all right? Or I never, you can say, I never help my coworkers. I don't know, right? Or I always help my coworkers, you can say. Second question. Do you often ask coworkers to help with your tasks? It's like, when you need help, when you need ayuda, do you often ask coworkers to help you with your tasks? Okay, so let's write the answers for these questions. This is on page 29. It's on page 29, okay? So let's write the answers. Okay, vamos a respuesta. Let's write the answers. Page 29, I repeat. Página 29, page 29. For the ones who are just getting connected, para los que se van conectando recientemente, uh, in this moment, we are answering the questions on page 29, activity one. Page 29, activity one. Okay? So in case you just got connected. Caso que se acaban de conectar. In case you just got connected. Hello, Galileo. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Nice How to are see you. you. Oh, Good to see you too. Oh, I'm, fine. I'm sorry, I am late. No, no, it's okay. The most important is that you're here. Thank you. Uh, by the way, uh, we have one activity, right? The activity uh, with the pictures. Yes, the reading with the pictures. We will do the activity at the end. Okay, la vamos a hacer al final. We will do the activity at the end.
So I said, write that in question number one, uh, do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? You can say, yes, I always help my, help my coworkers when they need what? Any help, okay? And in the second question, uh, do you often ask coworkers to help you with your tasks? This is in case you need help, okay? In caso que necesiten ayuda. So do you often ask coworkers to help you with your tasks? You say, oh, yes, I do, you can say. Sometimes the tasks are so difficult. Or you can say, sometimes I have too much work. A veces tengo mucho trabajo. Sometimes I have too much work, you can say, okay? I'm just giving you examples about the activity. Okay, please, uh, when you are ready, um, go to reactions and raise your hand, like as Oscar Arnulfo did, okay, please. When you are ready, go to reactions. When you finish, go to reactions and raise your hand. Thank you, Mauricio. Thank you very much. Oh, it's good to see you, Mauricio. Sí, eh, no pude la, el jueves y viernes tuve una carga laboral bastante pesada. I imagine, lo imagino. Finalizamos bien eso. Ah, ok, pero ¿cuántas, eh, ¿cuántas inasistencias tienes hasta la fecha? Yo creo que tres. Ah, ok, so you are on the border. Okay. Sí, estamos casi sí. al borde, así que hay que tratar de no faltarte aquí sí, en adelante. Estás, ok, espero okay. Estás dos semanas ya. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. It's good to see you. Ah, les decía al principio de que la, lo máximo de asistencias que pueden faltar en el módulo. Son básicamente, con tres ya están al borde, ¿ok? Y con cuatro sí ya como que bajan un poquito, ¿ok? Por los minutos, ¿verdad? Así que la sugerencia es que no falten, ¿verdad? En todo el módulo, por supuesto. Pero si, este, si ya tienen más de tres, si ya tienen tres, perdón, ya es de preocuparse porque a veces, a veces no hay internet, a veces nos conectamos cinco minutos tarde, entonces ya eso ya va, ya va restando, ¿ok? Para que estemos conectados al 100 de aquí en adelante. Mayormente los que han faltado, ¿ok? Yo sé que a veces es bien difícil por la carga laboral, pero igual debemos, debemos conectarnos, right? We have to get connected. Okay, so I can see Rocío, Mauricio, and Oscar finished. All right, so I'm waiting for the others. So in case you finished, go to reactions and raise your hand, please. Oh, Omar Francisco finished too. Thank you, Omar. Abigail too, thank you very much. Okay, one more minute, un minuto más, one more minute, and then we, we go to the activity. Oh, Mauricio Orellana, yeah, he finished, right? Oh, Ana Beatriz finished too, thank you very much for raising your hand. Que no se les olvide siempre, por favor, también, estoy haciendo varios recordatorios. Que no se les olvide siempre, al momento de accesar a Zoom, nombre completo, por favor, full name, ok, not only two names, no solo dos nombres. Que no se les olvide el requisito de full name as your DUI, ok, como aparece en el DUI. As it appears on your DUI, please, ok, please. Ok, uh, so basically we have two questions, right? So the pronunciation of question number one is, do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Question number two is, do you often ask coworkers to help you with your tasks? Do you often ask coworkers to help you with your tasks? Okay, so we have two questions, all right? So I will give you a little space, okay? I will give you a little space. So we will go to breakout rooms and I will give you like two or three minutes, okay? In two or three minutes, take turns asking the questions, okay? Tomen turnos haciéndose las preguntas. Take turns asking the, the questions, okay? I will make only three groups. Solo tres equipos voy a hacer. I will make only three groups. So, 
I, I guess we are going to have like five participants in every group, okay? Five participants in each group. So take turns to practice equations, okay? Yeah, make like, like a little, yeah. Hello, hello, Christian, good evening. Christian. Sorry? I arrived into my house. Okay, good. So you are about to get connected, like to work, okay? Good, it's excellent. Maybe in this activity, uh, you can accept um, Christian uh, because we are going to break our rooms, okay? So you accept the invitation to break our rooms and then you, you can listen to your classmates, okay? And if you can answer, it's okay, no problem, okay? Okay, let's go to breakout rooms and take turns. Van a tomar turnos. Take turns, please. Teacher, on the question, uh, what is the page? What is? The page. Request. Request. Uh, yes, the quest. Um, so it is depends. It's solicitud. Solicitud or solicitar. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ana Beatriz, do you usually help your core work with their tasks? Yes, I do, and help co-worker. Do you often ask co-worker to help you with your tasks? Uh, directly, why my tasks? In know that the, they are for the full means in flow, well, in flow, oops. No sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher. Hold your oops. Follow-ups. Follow-ups, follow of work release or the materials. Okay. And, uh, uh, question me. Okay. Is, Perdón. Uh, I, Frida. Okay. Do you usually help your co-worker while they dance? Yes. I help my co-workers with their home, uh, with their tasks. Do you often ask good worker to help you do your tasks? Yes, um, I also ask my nurses. In this case, uh, they are my co-workers. Uh, I also ask my nurses for help with my homework, with my, uh, with my tasks. They are very helpful. All right, thank you. Necesitamos una compañera como Frida. No. <laughs> ok, continue. Ok. Eh... No se salieron. Oh, aquí estamos, aquí estamos. Ah, vaya. Estamos Jacqueline. Aquí estamos Jacqueline. Dice, do you usually help your co-worker with their texts or tax? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. ¿Cómo se dice, eh, por ejemplo, el su de ellos? Their. Like this. Ok, como es ahí, their tasks. Their tasks. Y yes, like question number one. Do you usually help your co-workers with their tasks? No. Yes. Gracias. All right. So did you practice? Eh, ahorita estábamos contestando la primera pregunta y la segunda. Ah, ok. Got it. Uh, 
Yes, I do when I have a lot of work in no time. Only Ember. Uh, only, no, only Ember, Jacqueline, Abigail. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. With my <laughs> Ask question. With my team. <laughs> okay. Es decir, que ya, ya tengo la fama de. De Pussy. De <laughs> Ya aquí tiene, estoy diciendo, aquí ya estoy diciendo que todos ayudan y él ayuda también. Dice. Ya tiene la fama de que de Bossy. Negrero en inglés. Ah, what is Negrero first? This is the first time I listen to this. Mandón, no. No, 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 no. But what is that? No, yo hace. Ellos hacen lo que tienen que hacer, ¿verdad? Ah, si okay. necesitan mi ayuda, si necesitan un empujoncito, yo los doy, ¿verdad? Si necesitan push, yo push them, ¿verdad? Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ¿Qué es Negrero? ¿Qué es? Tirano, solo estoy dando un ah, certificado, yo no tirano. trabajo con acá. Oh, chica. <laughs> 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 Llama a ese dictador. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, the, the best word, I know Juan Carlos is not like this, right? But just to help you, okay? Just to help you with the vocabulary, not, I mean, to, to continue attacking Juan Carlos, okay? When, <laughs> no, no, no. When, a, when a leader or, or when, let's say, when a boss, cuando un jefe es como mandón, digamos, la palabra correcta para escribirlo es bossy. Bossy, así como boss. Bossy. Bossy, Ajá. así como a boss, but you put the Y at the end, le ponemos una Y al final. Ah, you can say, oh, he's very bossy. Okay, bossy. I'm not bossy, teacher. I'm not oh, bossy. You're, no, you are not. I know you are not bossy. You are a good leader. <laughs> I know you are a good leader. Soy un capataz. Only when it's... <laughs> you say... You say... Only when it's necessary, I'm bossy, you say. <laughs> you okay. say similar, <laughs> equal... <laughs> okay did you finish uh, yes yes, yes. Round. Yeah. okay okay let me go let me visit the other group and then we come back to the main station okay uh, do you usually help your co-workers with their tasks of course whenever they need um they need me I support them in yeah, their me. activities. Hey, do you often ask co-workers to help you with your task? When I am with a lot of work, I ask for you support. Uh, okay, okay, just let me make a correction quickly before I forget. Uh, I ask for your support or I ask for their support. What is correct? I ask for your support. For my support. Or for their for, support. Uh, porque es que yo les pido ayuda. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I mean. I mean, ayuda a ellos. Aquí uh -huh. vamos a usar el su de ellos. Les pido no su ayuda. No sería your. Ajá, sería their. Okay. They. I ask uh -huh. for their help. Porque es I la, ask for their. For their help, exactly. Así como está en la pregunta número uno. Their ah, task. Okay. Yeah, I ask for their help. Their mm -hmm. support. Oh, okay. Yes, or support. Okay, okay, continue. Okay. Maria Elena, do you usually help your workers with their tasks? Yes, I am like to help my co workers. Do you often ask co workers to help you with your tasks? My co-workers help me always. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Abigail. Galileo, do you usually help your co-workers with their tasks? Yes, I do. I give support to Inventory Warehouse. Do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? Yes, I do. When I need something really urgent and I cannot do it in time. Okay, thank you, Galileo. Uh, Mauricio, 
Do you use to help your co-workers with your their tasks? Yes, I do. Uh, do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? Yes, I do. Usually when I have to make urgent work. Okay, thank you. We need to back to the room. And to the main thank station. You. Amazing, thank you. Okay, I think everyone practice the questions, right? So let me ask uh, directly. Let me ask some questions directly, okay, to some of you. Okay, so let's listen to Abigail. Okay, Abigail, um, the questions, right? Uh, let's see, Abigail, do you usually help co-workers with their tasks? Of course. Whenever they need me, I support them in their activities. Oh, nice. Whenever they need your support, your support you help your co-workers. Excellent. Oh, listen okay. to this word. Escuchemos esta palabra, whenever. What is whenever? Um, me encontré como siempre pido ayuda. Ajá. Siempre. Whenever is like cuando sea que ellos necesiten. Okay, whenever. Mm -hmm. Whenever is like cuando sea. Like cuando whatever. Sea. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Second question. Do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? When I am with a lot of work, oh. I ask for the support. Excellent. Very good. It's necessary, right? It's very necessary when you are like very busy. Yes. Like there's too much work. Okay. Thank you, Abigail. Good answers. Okay. All right, Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio, question number one. Do you usually help co-workers with their tasks? Yes, I do. Do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? Yes, I do. Usually when I have to make urgent work. Oh, excellent. So you, when you have to, to finish something like quickly, you ask for help. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mauricio. Okay, let's see um, another girl. Let's listen to uh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline is said. Okay, Jacqueline, um, do you usually help co-workers with their tasks? Jacqueline is said. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do always. Always, excellent. Do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? Yes, me when to need help. Only when you need help. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you very much. Okay, the last one, the last participation, Christian. Uh, Christian, uh, yes. did, did you answer the questions? Did you answer the questions? Yes. yes. All right. Okay, Christian. Uh, do you usually help your co workers with their tasks? Hi, Christian. Hello, hello. Repeat, me. Repeat, please. Question number one. Do you okay. usually help your co-workers with their tasks? Yes, I do. When they ask me. Oh, nice. Uh, do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? Yes, usually when I have too much work. Nice, excellent, good answers. Okay, thank you very much for your answers, everybody. I don't ask everybody because I know you practice the questions in your groups, okay? Yeah, although I, I, I would like to listen to everyone, but it's not possible, okay? So thank you for your participations now. And uh, let's go to the next activity. <clears throat> so uh, I just have a question for you. What does request mean? What is the meaning of the word request? Any idea? Is uh, synonymous of uh, ask. It's a synonym when, of, of ask, okay? When we need something and, yes. and okay, we ask for something. We ask for something. It's right. You, you're right, okay? Uh, request is uh, what Galileo, I think it's saying, okay? So when we request, when we ask for something, okay? So it's synonym to ask for, or I think it was Frida. 
She said that request is solicitude. So, but listen, it's important to know that request can be a verb and it can be a noun, okay? Puede ser un verbo o un sustantivo. For example, you can say, I am making a request letter, okay? I am making or writing a request letter. It's a noun. En este caso es un nombre, es un sustantivo. Or you can say, I request you to come today. Okay, or I request personnel to meet today. Okay, solicito al personal que nos reunamos hoy. I request personnel to meet today. All right, so it can be a verb and a noun. Puede ser un nombre y un sustantivo. Okay, very good. So, um, excellent. Now, taking this into account, check this out. Revisemos lo siguiente. Check this out. Here, um, here you have some questions, right? These are like little conversations, okay? So, take a moment and read them, please. Tomen un espacio y las leen, por favor. Take a moment and read them. These are short conversations, okay? Okay, quick question. Quick question for everyone. Pregunta para todos. Quick question for everyone. Check this question. Could you print out the budget file? Question for you. Is this a request? Es esta una solicitud? Is this a request? Yes. 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 It is a request. All right. And look at the answer. Right away, Rita. Right away. It means in a moment. Okay. In this moment, I will do it right away, Rita. Okay, the way to answer. Now, if you say, could you print out the budget file? How do you translate this sentence into Spanish? Podrías. Podrías imprimir. Okay. El archivo del presupuesto. El archivo del presupuesto, exactly. So could, could is used for requests, okay? Se usa para solicitudes. We use could for requests, okay? So let's check the second. Let's check the second question. Uh, the second question is, would you mind opening the window? Now, question for you, is this a request? Is it a request? Yes. Is, una solicitud? Yes. is it a request? Yes, it no. Yes or no? Yes. 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 yes, it is. It's a request. Okay. Now, question. How do you translate this question or this request into Spanish? Would you mind opening the window? Te importaría, exactly. Te importaría abrir la ventana o te molestaría? Te molestaría abrir la ventana? So it's a request, right? Yes, it's a request. It's like indirectly, I'm saying, open the door, please. Open the window, please. All right. Bien like pasivo a... agresivo. Sorry. <laughs> Bien pasivo agresivo. Le importaría. Yeah, yeah. The thing is that these are polite questions. Okay, these are supposed okay. to be polite questions. Okay, son preguntas que no son órdenes, pero son formas como, digamos, de, de pedir algo de una forma cortés, being mm. politely, okay, or, or pedirlo cortésmente. Okay. Yeah, so that's the idea. Esa es la idea. And look at the answer. Look at the answer. Sure, no problem, okay? You don't say yes, right? Yes, I would. No, if you say yes, I would, you are saying no, I, I don't want to. Because the question is, would you mind opening the window? ¿Te molestaría abrir la ventana? Imagínense que ustedes dicen, yes, I would. Sí, me molestaría, right? So you have to be careful. Debemos ser cuidadosos. You have to be careful with this question because it's tricky, Okay. So if, if your boss or your coworker tells you, hey, would you mind opening the door, please? You say, sure, no problem. Or you can say right away, mister. Okay, or in a moment or in a second. All right, you can say that. Podemos responder así. We can answer like that. Okay, good. Now taking this, oh, don't pay attention to that. Taking this in consideration, okay, in your workplace, 
every day you can make requests, okay? Every day in your workplace, you make different requests, okay? So the idea is that in this moment, you, you think and write, okay? You think and write on these spaces five requests you need to ask in your workplace, okay? For example, what can be a request in your workplace? Could be, um, could you open the door, please? It could be a request. Or could you, what? Could you print out the report? Or would you mind sending an email? All right? So those could, those could be requests, okay? Esas podrían ser algunas solicitudes que hacen en su, en su trabajo, okay? And something important. Antes de que empiecen, something important, there's something important, okay? As you can see, después de would you mind, el verbo va con ing, okay? That's important, eso es importante. Like, would you mind opening? Would you mind sending the, the printer, okay, to, to tech support? I don't know, okay? So the verb is with ing, el verbo va con ing, okay? Después de would you mind. And could not, okay? Solo en would you mind, okay? So please, in this moment, take this space and let's write five requests, okay? You need to ask in your workplace. Vamos a escribir cinco solicitudes que hacen en su trabajo, okay? On this space, en este espacio de acá. This is on page 29. Es en la página 29, page 29. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question? No? So use, could you... No. Could you or would you mind? Vamos a usar could you or would you mind, okay? You can say, for example, I'm just, I'm just trying to, to activate you, okay? For example, you can say, could you clean your office, please? Could you clean your office, please? Maybe the, the office is kind of disorganized. It's a mess, right? Es un desorden oficina, so you say, could you please, okay, uh, clean your office, right? Um, or maybe you can say, would you mind moving these products to another place, okay? Moving, would you mind moving these products to another place, okay? So these are requests you need in your work, okay? Solicitudes que necesitan en su trabajo o que hacen en su trabajo. Only five, okay? Solo cinco, only five, no more. Hey, Chef. Yeah, tell me, Christian. I will enviar la estructura de una oración, pero tengo duda, usted dijo cuando llevaba un video, tendría que ir ENG, pero no sé en cuál verbo sería. Yes, I, I am reading it. Christian, right? Correcto. Uh, the question would be, would you mind helping me? Would you mind, okay? El would you mind siempre va. Would you mind helping me move those boxes, okay? Okay. Teacher, pudiera ser, could you call the clients? Could you call the clients? Yeah, it's okay. And, and even to be more polite, para ser más corteses, to be more polite, you can say, please. Could you call the okay. clients, please? All right, so you can put please, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, the idea of these questions is to be polite, okay? Or kind, if you thank wanna you. say kind, okay.
I have a question, teacher. ¿Cómo traduzco how do you translate uh, síndico? How do you say? Síndico. 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 Ok, let me check yes. because I don't know. Ok, let me check. You say receiver, official receiver or receiver? Receiver, uh -huh. receiver. Thank you. Like, like the verb receive, receive, but you put the R at the end, le ponemos la R al final, receiver. You say receiver. Like this, I see, receiver. I think you can say uh, trustee too, okay? Trustee, creo que se puede decir así también, trustee. Y puede ser solo official receiver or receiver or trustee, de las tres formas. No, no, I mean, when, when you say receiver, when it's official, you say official receiver or trustee, right? Cualquiera de las dos, official receiver or trustee. Okay. Thank you. Okay. T-shirts for the loose. Oh my God, but are you connected with your cell phone? No, with my computer. And your computer is connected to your cell phone, obviously, right? To Wi-Fi? No, because Wi-Fi, ah, oh, ya vino. Ah, okay, thanks, no, no, no pega el Wi-Fi hasta aquí. Ah, okay, it's with your cell phone, it's with hotspot, mobile hotspot, okay. Okay, I'll give you, uh, how much time do you need? Two minutes, two minutes más, two more minutes? Are two minutes okay? Salen en dos minutos, can you finish in two minutes? Yeah, okay, perfect. Two minutes and then we, uh, we compare. Okay, uh, so, uh, so look, look, in this moment, uh, we are going to break our rooms. The idea, I repeat, the idea when you go to break our rooms is that you practice English, okay? The idea is that you practice English. La idea es que practica inglés, yes? So, 
si saben decir algo en inglés, no lo usen en español en el breakout room. Háganlo en inglés. Do it in English, ¿ok? So the idea when you speak, when you practice with your classmates is that you practice English, ¿ok? So, uh, let's go to breakout rooms and compare your requests with your classmates' requests, ¿ok? Va a comparar las solicitudes que tienen with your classmates, ¿ok? Con las de sus compañeros, ¿yes? And you can use vocabulary like, oh, I have the same. Pueden usar vocabulario como I have the same, tengo lo mismo. Oh, you say, I have a different request. I have a different request, you can say. Podemos decir eso también, tengo una solicitud diferente. And you read it, right? Or you say, oh, my requests are very different. Or my request is very similar. Okay? So the idea is to compare your requests with your classmates' requests. Okay? La idea es que vayamos y comparemos las solicitudes que tenemos. Yeah? If you have the same, you say, oh, we have the same. If you have different requests, oh, I have a different request. And you read your request. Okay? So let's go to compare. Vamos a comparar. Let's go to compare. Alejandro, you didn't receive the invitation? Juan Carlos? Rivas? Excuse me, teacher. No, no, no recibieron la, invita la invitation no, para no, ir no. a break up room. No, no. Okay, let me send it to you. Lines, please. And okay. could you print the rules? And what do you mean to help me? Why the any client? Y el otro era call you come here the office, please. And call you answer the phone. Okay. okay. And Jacqueline, uh, so, sorry, I'm sorry for the interruption, Jacqueline. Um, Can you read the one of help again, please? Puedes leer el que lleva el verbo help otra vez, please. Would you mind, you said? Ah, yo había colocado what you mean to help me with um, any clients. Okay, so thank you very much. So, yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, I want to ask you classmates, is the request okay? I don't have a different request. Sorry? And understand the last. Would uh, you mind? She said, yes, she said, would you mind to help me with the clients, right? Would you mind to help me with the clients? Creo que es, that, that's the, the answer, the, the, the request, right, Jacqueline? Yes. Yes. Uh, the question for you is for, for everybody, para todos. Is the question correct? Hi, no, eh, tendría que llevar could you mind tendría que terminar la siguiente en ING could you mind help exactly, help? exactly. So the, the, help? the right question would be Frida, would you mind helping me Jacqueline, okay. helping helping with ING con ING would you mind helping would me okay? like, helping me would you like or would you mean no, help? mind, mind Would you mind helping? 
helping with ing help. con ing el helping would you mind helping okay. me ajá y de ahí lo demás the rest would okay you mind help me with any okay yes helping helping helping, helping, helping with, with ing with okay. ing okay okay continue Okay. No sé quién iría ahora. Ni porque se va a ir la luz, el generador ya se va a apagar. Sí, okay. quizá ya era súper fuerte también y se quiso ir. Ok. Could you do the patient Call you close the door, please. Will you mind installing office in my computer? Call you turn on the printer. Will you mind printing this report? Call you send the email, please. Okay. Will you print the statement final soon? Will you turn on the air conditioning? Would you mind throwing the garbage in the trash can? Would you mind opening the door? Would you mind filling this document? Hi, help me in my house. I am the lawyer. My turn. Si gusta, no repito. Uh, how you can help me open the door, please? How do you mind driving the time, please? How do you mind giving me a full voucher for the Navarra, please? Uh, how do you find the municipal agreement of a prospector? To the official receiver, May 3 and 5, all the mobility to a municipal employee of the children's unit. Thank you. Okay, this is the María son bien diferentes a las que tenemos nosotros. Sí. Son bien diferentes. ¿De qué es? La pregunta, ¿podría servirme el almuerzo? Yes. El teacher nos sacó Arnulfo. No, sí, yo creo que es... Ah, he's back. Solo faltarían las de Arnulfo en este momento. He's connected. Acaba de entrar. Yes. Ya fue a meter la ropa. <laughs> no, escuchamos a Rolfo. Uh, ING. Eh, lo que yo entendí era que debía hacerse con. Bueno, yo comprendí de esta forma y lo hice de, de lo siguiente. Uh, a new a new computer, please. Entendía que yo estaba haciendo una solicitud o que yo estaba eh, solic solicitándolo para alguien. Entonces. Eh, coloqué esto. A new, a new computer, please. Please deliver the invoice. Please request some color pencil. Eh, please request the safety permit. Teacher is correct or no? Yes, yeah, it's correct. It's okay. Uh, this is like another way. Um, can you hear me? Se me escucha? Can you hear me? 
Yes. So yes. basically, this is yes. like a this is another way to make requests. You can say, uh, send the reports, please, but you are being like too straight. Aquí en este caso son como más como comandos, ¿ok? Como, como commands. We call them commands, ¿ok? Pero cuando usamos el could you, así como en la conversation, o el would you mind, lo hacemos como más polite, más suave, ¿ok? O más cortés. Oh, okay. With more courtesy. Uh -huh. Aunque yo diga, please request the safety form. It's a command. Yes, it's a command. It's a command. Uh -huh, exactly. Yes, so uh, to yes. make it a request, maybe you can say, um, would you mind? Okay. Would you mind or could you please? Like, would you mind opening the door? Okay, please. Oh, okay. Or could you please open the door? So you make it a request. Aquí se vuelve más una request. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Thank colleague. You. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Uh, so welcome back. Uh, so uh, questions. Uh, did you find similar or different requests with your classmates? In my case, it's different. Different requests, right? I, the, 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 maybe they're different because it depends on the work you have, right? The works, I mean, your jobs are very different. So probably uh, your requests will be different too or are going to be different too, okay? It's okay, no problem. So Frida, yours are different, right? Obviously. What about the others? I have different requests. You have different requests too, okay, and I'm at least good. So your classmates have different requests, good. So uh, anybody else? Yeah, teacher, it's different. They're different, okay, yeah, definitely. Now, anybody who had similar requests? Somebody with similar requests? No, teacher. No. They're different in my case. All of them are different, okay? Yes, it's normal, right? As I said, it's normal because, I mean, we have different jobs. Okay, so the requests we use at, at the workplace are different. Okay, good. So thank you very much for comparing. Let me pass the attendance quickly. Le voy a pasar asistencia rápidamente otra vez. Uh, let's see Alejandro Antonio. Present teacher. Ana Abigail. I'm here. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present. Um, let's see, Christian. Present. Okay, Amber. Yeah, I think he's connected, but he's driving. Okay. Uh, I'm Frida. here. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Amber. Frida? Present. Okay. Thank you. Jacqueline Lisset? I'm here. Okay. Juan Carlos Alas? I think he's connected, but he's only a listener. Juan Carlos Rivas? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Don't have. Okay. Uh, Eunice? Maria Elena? Mauricio, sorry. Maria Elena is connected. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mauricio Antonio. Present. Nelson Gabarrete. Omar Francisco. Present, teacher. Okay, Oscar Arnulfo. Arnulfo. You got disconnected, I think. Okay, let's see. Oscar Ernesto, Melara. Oscar Ernesto, Melara. No, he's not connected, right? Okay. Uh, Rocio Lourdes. Present. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joanna. Yesenia, Jocelyn Joanna is not connected. No? Oh, yeah, she's connected. Okay, Yesenia Marisol. Dinora. Present teacher. And Jose Galileo. Present teacher. Okay. Algunos ya, ya tomaron los dos minutos ahorita, creo. Creo que apagaron la cámara varios. Okay. So, uh, let's take the two minutes. <laughs> Sí. Bien, tomemos los dos minutos en este momento, entonces. Let's take the two minutes. Uh, so, please, if you are going for coffee, go for coffee. Let's take the two minutes. Tomemos los dos minutos.
Okay, we have. Tengo two. luz, teacher. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, Juan Así Carlos. Así voy a estar. Yeah, it's okay. Y no tengo candelas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. Oh, wow. Okay, ten minutes. Eso estoy pensando ahorita. Que me I mean, we... la luz. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so uh, the two minutes are over. Se acabaron los dos minutos. The two minutes are over. But leave the camera on, Juan Carlos, please. Deja la cámara encendida siempre. Leave the camera on. Okay. Even okay. If, we, if we only see black, okay? <laughs> Lo voy a empezar a asustar. Yes. The ghost will appear. Okay. Uh, so let, let's, let's... Yo voy a estar escuchando, pero tengo un problema con mi casa. Okay. Le voy a estar oyendo. Okay. Okay, uh, so for the rest, uh, para los demás, so listen, uh, just to remind you, solo para las sesiones privadas, okay? Voy a hacer un recordatorio. Eh, para el día de hoy tenemos a Alejandro Antonio en la sesión, en las sesiones uno a uno, sessions one on one, ¿ok? Luego mañana tenemos a Mauricio Antonio, el miércoles tenemos a Jocelyn Joana, el jueves a Ana Beatriz y Frida, bueno, Frida, ¿con quién fue que cambió? Frida. Ah, con Abigail. Entonces Abigail tendría la sesión one on one el día viernes, ¿ok? Abigail, ok. Luego, eh, lunes 14, Eunice, Rocío Lourdes sería el martes 15, Juan Carlos Alas, miércoles 16, Oscar Ernesto Melara sería el viernes 18 y Nelson Gabarrete el lunes 21, ok. Eh, básicamente, aquí lo que podemos ver es que el día 17 no tenemos, no tenemos clase, ¿verdad? El día 17 no hay clases. Son de 17. ¿Perdón? Va a ser a suelo. Sí, sí. Bueno, no recuerdo si, si ese día es el día del, pa, del maestro, ¿verdad? Si no, si no me equivoco. No, es de padres. De padres, de padres. Es padres. Yo no padre. Yo lo pensé. Es padres. Es padres. Exactamente. Es el día del padre, padre. entonces. Es padres. Ok, that's why. Por esa razón. Para los regalos, teacher. Sorry. Pueden hacer la cauda para los regalos. <laughs> Virtual presence. <laughs> Virtual presence, presentes o regalos virtuales. Vir virtual presence, okay? <laughs> okay, so, uh, so let's carry on. Continuemos. Let's con carry un on. Virtual, lo conformamos. Con algo virtual, right? With a virtual hug. Yes, con, sí. un, con un abrazo virtual. Bitcoins. 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 The 22 <laughs> is the Teacher's Day. Oh, yeah, it's true. It's on the 22nd. Uh -huh. On the 22nd. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, very good. So on the 17th, we have no classes then. El 17, entonces, ahí por si van a hacer algo con, con su esposo o por si las esposas les van a celebrar. Okay, so tomen en cuenta que ese día no hay clases. Pueden celebrar en la noche. You can celebrate at night, okay? La buena escobiada lo van a dar. Ah, well, I don't know. Okay, uh, very good. So listen, here, um, por acá, les comparto en pantalla. I'm sharing screen. Here you can see um, the uses of could, right? And you have a little conversation using could, okay? Remember, uh, could is to ask for requests, okay? Lo usamos para hacer solicitudes. Like, for example, we have this conversation here. Could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper? Right away. Could you contact the tech support? No problem, okay? We have how many requests? Cuántas solicitudes? How many requests? Three. Three requests in the conversation. Okay, three requests. Number one, could you call me later? Number two, could you make 10 copies could of this paper? Yes. And number three, could you contact could the tech support? The tech support. The tech support, exactly. So basically, to make these sentences, para hacer estas preguntas, sorry, to make these questions, we need, okay, uh, let me share screens here. Uh, let me, sorry, let me annotate. Uh, for this, we need, it says, start a request with could you followed by, okay, when we use could, we use the base form of the verb or the ing form. What do we use? The base form. The, exactly, we use the base form. So we use, we use the base form, like in these cases, right? Call, make, 
contact. Usamos la forma base del verbo, no la modificamos, ¿ok? Could you call me later? Could you make 10 copies of this paper? Could you contact the tech support? ¿Ok? And in the answers, you, you don't normally say yes I could or yes I can, right? Normalmente no decimos yes I could or yes I can, ¿ok? Uh, sorry, uh, we could say yes I could. Podríamos decir yes I could, right? Pero lo más ideal, ¿ok? De, de, sería decir tal vez in a moment, right away, or in a minute, ¿ok? So we could use this. Very good. Sigamos entonces. Let's continue. So look, in this other part, hold on a second. Okay. So on the other side, we have the use of would you mind. Tenemos el uso de would you mind, okay? And we have a conversation. Tenemos una conversación. We start here. Would you mind calling the plant manager right away? And would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me in a minute? Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem, okay? So how many requests? ¿Cuántas solicitudes hay? How many requests do you have? Una, dos, tres. We have three requests, okay? Number one is, would you mind calling the plant manager? Number two, would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me? And would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department very good so now this is a little different right esto es un poco diferente this is a little different why because we start a request with would you mind empezamos con would you mind in this case then que usamos la forma base o el verbo con ing what do we use uh, verbo con ing ah the verb with ing form okay like for example would you mind calling would you mind Getting, would you mind sending? El verbo va con ing. The verb is with ing. Okay, so uh, for the questions with would you mind, la respuesta no sería no, I would, I would not mind. No sería muy común, right? Normalmente contestamos con lo que tenemos acá. Like, for example, right away, in a minute, not a problem. Y para en el, en el caso de, de could, igual podríamos contestar también con sure, right away, or no problem, okay? What is, first, what is sure? ¿Qué es sure? What is sure? Seguro, claro. Seguro, seguro, seguro yeah. all right? Would you call me later? Sure, seguro, okay? And right away, what is right away? De inmediato. De en este momento. En este momento, de inmediato, right away, right, right away. No problem is easy, right? Uh, what is in a minute? En un minuto. En un minuto. En un minuto. E incluso para hacer como más, que para decir que lo voy a hacer más rápido, you could say in a second, en un segundo, in a second. You can say that, también se puede usar. Or you can say, not a problem or no problem, or in this moment, okay? In this moment, you can say in this moment too. All right, so... Yeah. Yes. Sure. Sí, sí. Uh, what is the difference and um, um, no problem con cool y not a problem con what you mind? Uh, what oh. is different? What is the difference between a no problem and not a problem? Uh -huh. It's basically the same purpose to say that I, that I can do it. Okay, es básicamente el mismo propósito para contestar que sí estoy dispuesto a hacer lo que me están pidiendo. It's the same purpose. Yes, it's basically the same purpose in this case. Okay, okay. good. So um, now I ask, uh, do you have any questions about this? This topic is very easy, but do you have any question about this topic? No es como el passive voice, right? Yes, Oscar Anulfo. Sorry. What is? No, no, I mean, it's the same. It's the same. I mean, talking, talking about urgency, it's the same. It's what you want to use. If you say, could you please open the door or would you mind opening the door? It's the same urgency, okay? The urgency is the same. Okay, there's no difference in urgency. Maybe in the answer, right? Maybe you can express like, 
uh, in five minutes, okay? That means you can do it in this moment or right away, right? That you're, you can do it in this moment right away, or you can do it later because you are busy too. Tal vez están ocupados cuando les hacen la request and you say, oh, in five minutes, okay? Not in this moment, okay? In the end of the day? At the end of the day, that's right. <laughs> at, the at the end of the day, at the end of the day. Okay, it's, it's kind of weird, kind of strange because if somebody is making a request, it's because they need that in this moment, porque lo necesita en el momento. But to say at the end of the day is like, I mean, in this moment I'm busy, but at the end of the day I can do it, okay? Pero normalmente respondemos de inmediato, okay, in a minute, right away, right now, okay? So in this moment you can say, no problem, okay? Okay, so any other question? Do we have any other question? No? Okay, so if you have no more questions, it's time for you to work. Okay, listen. What are you going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? Listen. Okay, hold on a second. Deme un segundo acá. Hold on a second. Okay. Now, listen. Here, you have like a spider diagram. Tienen un diagrama de... De araña le dicen, ¿verdad? A spider diagram. Good. What are you going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer? Write polite requests you receive or give at your workplace. Está relacionada a la actividad que hicimos anteriormente. But listen, but listen. Pero pongan atención. Look. In here, you don't have to put would, would you mind or could you. No le vamos a poner el would you mind or el could you please. All right? Just the verb. Solamente el verbo. For example, look at this one. Miren esta. Make appointments. ¿Cuál puede ser otra? It could be send, send emails. All right? No le vamos a poner el would you mind y el could you. Solo el verbo directamente. Y lo que vamos a poner, like comments, como comandos. Okay? Yeah? Like, for example, what? Can you say, uh, call the clients? For example, call the... I'm just giving you ideas. Solo les estoy dando ideas. Call the clients, for example. Okay? No le ponemos el would you mind y el could you, ¿ok? Llenemos la información. Let's complete the information. Le faltan cuatro ejemplos, teacher. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. And by the way, you, can, <laughs> you cannot use my examples. <laughs> Juan Carlos, you cannot use my examples. <laughs> ok, teacher. I'm kidding. That's on page 30. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's on page 30. It's on page 30. It's on page 30. Okay. You need to complete all the diagram, okay? You need to complete all the diagram.
these are requests that you ask and that you receive, okay? Son solicitudes que hacen y que reciben, okay? Not only the requests that you make, but also the requests that you receive, okay? También las que reciben. Ah, please, the same. When you finish, uh, go to reactions and raise your hand so I have an idea about the ones who finished, okay? Okay, Oscar Anulfo finished. Thank you very much. So the same, when, it, when you finish, go to reactions and raise your hand so I have a record of the ones who are finishing, okay? Or the ones who finish. Okay, Oscar Anulfo and Mauricio Finis. Okay, thank you very much for raising your hand. Galileo Finis too, thank you very much. Rocio too, thank you. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes, okay? No more, only two minutes and then we go to the next activity. Ana Beatriz finished too. Thank you, Ana Beatriz for raising your hand. Oh, thank you, Alejandro, you finished too. Thank you for raising your hand.
Okay, uh, if you uh, if if your diagram, if your spider diagram is not complete, no problem. Okay, uh, can you please turn on your cameras? The ones who are working, look, los que están trabajando pueden encender su cámara. Can you turn on your camera, please? I understand that when you work, your camera is off. Entiendo que cuando están trabajando con el manual, la cámara está apagada. It's okay, no problem, okay? Uh, because I want to see it for the next activity, uh, I want to make sure you are going to participate in the activity, okay? Para la siguiente actividad, quiero asegurarme que van a participar en la actividad. So, uh, Juan Carlos Rivas, are you going to participate? Los que están con cámara encendida, yo sé que van a participar, but the ones who are with the camera off, Juan Carlos Rivas, Yes, teacher, yes. Yes, okay. Um, Jacqueline Lisset? Sí. Okay, okay. Jacqueline Lisset, will you participate in the next activity? ¿Participarás en la siguiente actividad? Jacqueline Lisset? Juan Carlos Salas, no, right? Uh, Joseph y Joana? Nelson? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So please, uh, in case, uh, I, I am going to make pairs in this moment, okay? So let's see. Uh, in case uh, you are with a pair who is not connected, ask for help. En caso de que alguien esté con alguien que no va a trabajar, eh, vayan a pedir, pidan ayuda, por favor, ask for help para reubicarlos con otra pareja, ¿ok? To send you with another uh, pair. Or, o mejor podríamos hacer las parejas de un solo. So let me see. Ana Beatriz with Mauricio. Ana Beatriz, you work with Mauricio. Vas a trabajar con Mauricio. Van a ir al equipo uno. You are team number one. Ok, tomen nota si gusten. Van a hacer clic en el número uno. Ok, ustedes son el equipo uno. Así que cuando abran los equipos, ustedes van a elegir el equipo uno. You, you, you choose from one. Ok, Oscar, Mauricio, en Nelson Gabarrete, you work together. Oscar, Mauricio, Oscar Arnulfo, perdón. Oscar Arnulfo y Nelson Gabarrete, you work together. Team two. Ustedes van a ir al número dos. Ajá, team two. A room two. Uh, Christian and Omar Francisco, together. Christian Lasso and Omar Francisco, room three. Que van okay. a ir al número tres. You go to room number three. Okay. Abigail and Frida. Abigail and Frida, you work together. Room number four. Van a ir al equipo número cuatro. Room number four. Rocío and Jose Galileo. Room number five. Van a ir al número cinco. Room number five. Okay. Uh, Alejandro and Jacqueline Gloribel, room number six. Alejandro and Jacqueline, and Jacqueline Gloribel, sorry, room number six. Van a ir al número seis, room number six. Dinora Alejandra, Jacqueline Lisset, will you participate? ¿Vas a participar, Jacqueline Lisset? Jacqueline Lisset, hello. Yes. Yes, okay. So uh, Jacqueline Lisset and, and, sorry, Gloribel, ¿qué equipo le dije a usted? What team did I say for you? Gloribel. Six, six. Okay, so Dinora and Jacqueline Lisset, number seven. Y que se les agregue también Juan Carlos Rivas, okay? Juan Carlos Rivas, team number uh, seven. Okay, van al número siete. Now listen. Using the instructions, right? Listen to the instructions. Using the information that you have or using the requests that you have on the spider diagram, you will create a conversation. Making requests, okay? You will create a conversation making requests. Van a crear una conversación usando solicitudes. But, but don't do it like only asking, right? No lo hagan como que solo pidiendo, pidiendo, pidiendo solicitudes, asking for, for requests. No. Traten de mezclar, try to mix. For example, you can say, um, hello, imagine I do it with Omar. I say, hello, good morning, um, Omar. And Omar says, hey, good morning, uh, Bernardo. Uh, yo le digo, uh, can you do me a favor? Puedes hacerme un favor, can you do me a favor? And Omar says, yes, okay. Uh, would you mind printing out these documents, please? Ah, no problem. And, and then he says, okay, thank you very much. And then, and, and would you mind doing this? Y se van por ahí, okay? No solo preguntas directas, así de una vez, o solicitudes. Traten de mezclar, try to mix, okay? With other, with other sorry, with other vocabulary, okay? con otro vocabulario. Hagan como la apertura de la conversación bien bonita y el cierre bien bonito, ¿ok? And the closing has to be very, very nice too. Yes? Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? No? 
And then you write the conversation and you practice the conversation, okay? Yeah, so in the case of Juan Carlos team, van a hacer la conversación para tres. You have the conversation for three, okay? It can be a boss and two employees, for example, okay? Good, so do you have any question before we go to breakout rooms to create the conversation? Any question? No. Okay, let's go then. Siete equipos. Choose the right team. Elijan el equipo que les dije. Choose the, the team I told you, please. Teacher, ¿dónde lo elijo? ¿Te aparece la notificación? No. ¿Para no qué equipo? Aparece. ¿Para qué equipo es? Para cinco, si no me equivoco, con Omar Hernández. Al cinco, ok. ¿Con quién vas? No aparece. ¿Para cuál equipo? No aparece. ¿Para cuál eh, equipo? Eh, no, number two. Juan Carlos Rivas, ¿a qué equipo? Seven, teacher. Seven. Ok, ahorita vamos a ver. Prácticamente de lo de del spider diagram. Uh -huh. Vamos a hacer oraciones. Cuando el cudo el wood. Ajá, algo así como una conversación. Exacto. Ok, excelente. Entonces, eh, eh, yo no pude notar, pero igual eh, más o menos tenía el, los verbos que pudiese ocupar en mi caso, ¿verdad? En el trabajo que son carry, eh, bring, uh, reply. Entonces, okay. en... yo igual tengo unas cuantas. Lo que podemos hacer es lo siguiente. Estructuremos una conversación basándonos en lo que... Bueno, les... Ah, que está teacher. Eh, ¿Cómo es? es how do you say, uh, is, es importante incluir los jefes de cada área? How do you say? Es importante incluir los jefes de cada área. Los jefes. Ajá. Ah, it's important to include. It's important to include. I don't know if you want to say jefes directamente or managers. Uh, or manager, 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 manager. Okay, so manager. The, uh, the, you can say it's important to include the managers of every department, of every department, departamento, in este caso, area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Eh, sería que volvió. Volvió, pues, volvió. Entonces, sería darme más detalle, es como, call, call you, or call give you speak me. more, or give or, Could you or give, give me more information, maybe? Could you give me more information? Okay. Uh, could, could you me. give me more information? Could you give me more, more information. information? Exactly. Mm. More, 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 more information. Is el el tema como se dice? Is un thing is inclusión social. Social, social inclusion. Social inclusion. Social inclusion is inclusión social. Tell me the sentence, please. La oración completa. The whole sentence or question. Is Es, el tema sería inclusión social para el proyecto que le estoy pidiendo ayuda a Mauricio. Ah, ok. Social inclusion. Social inclusion. Ah, sería the project is social inclusion. Is, a, is about. Is about. Ah. The, the project is about social inclusion. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. ¿Qué podríamos hacer ahí? Ajá, ¿ves? Se podría... Pero yo ya le tengo que contestar. Tú puedes proponer la creación de, de una cancha de fútbol. Uh -huh. you, you can poner this. Sorry. Proponer. Propose. 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 Uh -huh. Propose. Propose. What do you want to say? ¿Qué quieres decir? What do you want to say? Tú puedes proponer la creación de una cancha de fútbol. Ajá. But, but that's the request. Esa sería la request. Ajá. Eh, eh, la petición o el request de, de Ana es que yo le dé una idea acerca de un proyecto de inclusión social. Ok. Ajá. And, and it is, you could... Then, tú podrías. Uh, you could. You could. Mm -hmm. uh, propose. Uh -huh, propose, exactly. The post, the... Court. The construction. Uh -huh. The construction. Okay. The construction. De una que era? O un campo, bueno, una, una cancha sería un campo de fútbol, un fútbol, ¿qué? fútbol campo. Ajá, of a, uh, of a soccer field. You, can, you, could, you could propose the construction of a soccer field. Soccer field. Let me write it for you. Soccer, soccer field. field. Yeah. Soccer field, uh -huh. una cancha de fútbol. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ahora te toca a usted. Good. Ahí, me pod Ahí me podría solicitar a uh, I could you or would you saying or would you talking more más detalles, me puedes decir más detalles. Okay. I call you more. I no, call. But, but maybe uh, in this case it's a question. Okay, the, the request is as a question, right? Queda como pregunta la solicitud. 
sería que diría Ana Beatriz, sorry, would say, would you mind describing the info, uh, or giving me more information? Te molestaría darme más información? Would you mind? Okay, you say would you? Would, would you, you mind? mind? Would you mind giving me more information? O los detalles. I, I, I don't know what you said. Sí, Ajá, ¿Te molestaría darme sí, más información? O podría ser sí, también, could you please? Sí, could you please sí, or could you give me more information? Is what you want to use. La que quieran usar. What you, you want mind, to use. Oh, okay. Would you mind giving me, me information? information. Ajá, or more information, más información. I could could you write the report for this day in the afternoon? Mm -hmm. Algo yes, así I correcto. Could. Cabal, cabal, cabal. Uh, hello, hello. Just remember. Hola, hola. Hello, hello. Just remember that. Yes, I could is okay. I mean. But maybe you can use something different instead of yes, I could. And better yes, I could, maybe you can use something different. Maybe you can say no problem or right away. Ah, of course, oye muy. Pero en este caso, teacher. Yes, I, no, yes, I could. En este okay. caso estamos hablando. Can you show the example estamos again? Por eso, porque estábamos hablando más, para más tarde. Okay, puedo ver el ejemplo. Can I see the example? Uh, okay, ahorita, 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 ahorita. Can you share screen, please? Okay, ahorita la comparto. Ahí está. Okay, let me see. Um, let me see. Okay, it says, could you write your report for this day in the afternoon? Oh, yes, I could. Yeah, uh -huh. sí, sí, en este caso, sí. I didn't see the rest, no había visto lo Porque demás. Que estábamos hablando... Ajá, porque era al final de la tarde prácticamente. Uh, yeah, o sea, estábamos yeah. teniendo un tiempo determinado. Uh -huh. Ajá, pues también podrían decir sure, en este caso, sure, seguro, sure. Oh, ok. Sure. O podría ah, okay. ser incluso, of course, por supuesto, of course. Esa es la que se ocupa en la otra, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. No, no, but you can use it here too. También se puede usar acá. La, las respuestas se pueden usar en ambos. You can use them in both. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Va. Entonces, and you, and you could help me call some clients tomorrow? Of course. It will be a pleasure. Eso sería. Solo voy a... I, it will be a pleasure. It's ok. Es is o it. No. Uh, no, it's ok. It would. It will be. It would be, it's okay. It would be you. a pleasure. It's correct. Yeah, it's correct. Está correcto. It's correct. It would be a pleasure. Okay. Okay. I will only attend to some clients at a.m. And I will help you immediate, ah, in immediately. Immediately. In this case, you need to say will. I will help you immediately. Ah, I will help you. Yes. Ah. Voy a hacer la corrección. Okay. Yes. Porque él está, él no está, no está requiriendo, sino que está sentando una oración. Sería uh -huh. así. Sí, sí, está, está. Yeah, I will only, porque en el primero usan will. I will only attend to some clients. Will, right? En la segunda también debe ir will. I will only attend some clients at seven, and I will help you immediately. Okay. De okay, ir will. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Te voy a compartir entonces eh, la conversación, Juan Carlos, y ahí la armamos nosotros y la practicamos, ¿te parece? Ok. Excelente. Ahorita. Galerías. <risa> ya vamos llegando. <risa> Multiplaza. Ahí. Okay. Hola, ¿qué pasa? Uy. Okay.
¿Qué me va a contestar? Eh, ¿Nos vemos? Sí. 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 Um, that's okay. ¿Eh? That's okay. ¿Yo o yo? Sí. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You or yo. <laughs> hey, teacher, no, no, estoy espiando. I'm a spy you. I'm just checking your work. So you, you or me, all right? You have to say you or me, all right? <laughs> ya se me olvidó lo que me dijo. <laughs> She said that's fine. That's fine, right? Oh, that's okay. What did you say, Jacqueline? That's okay. That's okay. All right. Finish, teacher. Okay, just above, maybe uh, what I see is that what it. At the beginning, hi Jacqueline, could you organize a, a meeting with the boss? A meeting. A, a meeting. Oh, okay. meeting. Y esa de no la lleva ahí. Uh, right away, would you mind sending the invitation to, to all managers? T.O. Ahí después de invitation. To all managers. T.O. Uh -huh. Solo T.O. Uh -huh. uh, not a problem. Si van a decir not problem. Es no problem o not a problem? ¿Cuál prefieren? Which one do you prefer? What do you prefer? Mm. Not a eh, problem? No, ya okay. Tengo. No, no problem. problem. Okay. okay. Could you sing or could you send? Could you sing these sales reports or could you send these sales reports? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Uh, ¿Cuál? Send. Firmar. Uh, Firmar. Ah, sign. 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 La, G, sign. La, la G va antes de la N. De la N. Okay. Sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sign these wow. sales reports. Sales report. Is only one sales report or two or more? Uh, How many? One. Only one. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's perfect. Uh, could you sign this? Then these. Va solo T, I, and this. Sign this. No sería. Porque ese this es para plural. Sería un solo this. T, H, I, S. T, H, I, S. I uh, have this sales report mm -hmm. in a second. Would you mind taking a coffee with me? Ah, cierto. Mm -hmm. uh, sin mm -hmm. e. Give me the letter. Uh -huh. Sure. Well, what time do we meet? At six o'clock in the at Multiplaza. At. at. In the, in the, no. Solo at. At Multiplaza. At six o'clock at Multiplaza. I see you. That's, that's okay. All right. Yeah, now it's okay. Ahora sí. No, thank you, John. Thank you. Okay. Now take some time to practice. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay, Jacqueline, vamos. Okay. Hi, Jacqueline. Could you organize a meeting with the bus? Right away. By the way, I have a proposal to call the client. By the way. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think about our conversation? Let me, let me read it. Let me read it. Okay. Uh, in this case, where it says, by the way, could you call the client or the clients? Is only one client or or different clients? The client. Only is one. one. Only one. Only okay. One. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's it's fine. Uh, in this case, would you mind attaching? Attaching the invoice and giving. So as a gift también va con ING. Para que tenga, para que esté, para que esté de acuerdo, para que esté de acuerdo con el verbo anterior, con el verbo anterior. And giving okay. it to the courier, please, in this moment. Thank you, I appreciate your help. You're welcome. Okay, ese you're welcome es con, bueno, la escritura, right? Es con your, la contraction sería the your. Ese es el possessive. La contraction sería con apostrophe, después de you. No, no, ahí. Y luego ere. Yeah, it's okay, ahí. It's okay there. You, uh -huh. 
No, no, ahí en You're Welcome. Ahí donde estaba la apóstrofe antes de la R. You're, ahí uh -huh. después una E al final, después de la R. Ok. You're welcome. Ajá, uh -huh. that's correct. Ahora sí. Ah, es como tú eres bienvenido, o sea, por, por decirlo exactly. así. Ajá. Uh -huh. You're welcome. But in this case, it's like the nada, right? But the, the rule is that you use you, you are. Ok, you are welcome. Ok. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Now the conversation is okay. 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 Let's, let's practice, Lucio. Okay. Start. Hi, Galileo. Hi, Rocio. Could you help me, please? Yes, of course. Could you, Could you help me answer the call? Of course, I can help you answer the calls. Would you need I take a note? Okay. Oh, do you need? Pardon, do you need take a note for the for the call? Uh, yes, please. Okay, with pleasure. Sorry. Yes, please. Um, could you help me? Me, could you help me for lunch? Uh, let me see. With great pleasure, Abigail, I, I cover you. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, teacher, me fue un rato. Se me fue la conexión de internet. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Ya, estamos a punto de salir. We are about to, to, to close, okay, the breakout rooms. Okay, Así que... Okay. Ya tenemos sí. unas cuatro horas. Ok. Por lo menos, no hay Try to close it. Traten de, 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 de hacer el cierre por ahí. Try to close it. Ajá. Ok. Hagamos el cierre mejor. Ok. No hay problema. Entonces voy a coger. Could you invite to eat every people? <laughs> Podría invitarnos a todos a comer. <laughs> Así lo vamos a poner porque ya nos acabo. Sí. Could you invite, invite? Could you invite? Invite. 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 Ah, invite. Así. Y es invite. 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 To eat. Uh, to lunch. To lunch, le vamos a poner. To lunch. Y usted como el jefe me responde, great. <laughs> great. Great. Great, me responde usted, great. okay? Great, great. Exact, great. Ahí quedamos, ¿verdad? Ahí por lo menos ya tenemos a, para que nos regañe el sitio. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Hey teacher, I need a traduction. Okay, so I can help you. When? Para cuando? Ah. Para cuando? Eh, tengo que ver, tengo que entrar en la embajada. Okay, let me know. Déjame, okay. házmelo saber. Let me know. Perfecto, no hay problema. Okay. Estamos mi internet. Okay. Ahí estamos. Okay, everyone. So uh, I hope everybody finished their conversations. Okay. No había cerrado, no había cerrado los grupos porque estaba yendo así a todos los grupos y veía que todos iban casi al mismo ritmo. Okay. Y no todos habían terminado. Not everybody had finished. Okay. Por eso cerré a las 10. That's why I closed at 10. Okay. So let me pass the attendance quickly. Alejandro Antonio. Present teacher. Ana Abigail. I'm here. Ana Beatriz. Present. Cristian Ernesto. Present. Ember. Present. Frida. Present. Jacqueline. Bisset. I'm here. Juan Carlos Alas. 
Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Still I'm here. All right. Edwin is he's not here, right? Maria Elena. She had problems, I think, with the connection. Okay, let's see Mauricio Antonio. Present. Nelson. I hear teacher. Okay. Um Omar Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Oscar Renulfo. Present. Oscar Ernesto. Rocío. The microphone, Rocío. Present. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joanna. I think she's having problems, I think. Okay. Uh, Yesenia Marisol, no, right, Dinora? Present, teacher. And Jose Galileo. Present. Okay, thank you very much. So basically, we have no time for presenting the conversation, okay? But you will present the conversation tomorrow. So please, don't forget your pair. Que no se les olvide su pareja con quien practicaron. Don't forget your pair, please, okay? And in this moment, for the one-on-one -on -one session, we have Mauricio, I think, right? Mauricio? ¿Quién tiene la sesión uno a uno? ¿Who has the session one on one? No. Mauricio y yo, teacher. Ok, vamos a ver. Aquí Alejandro, perdón, es Alejandro. Alejandro tiene la sesión hoy, mañana es Mauricio, Antonio, luego Jocelyn el miércoles, Ana Beatriz el jueves y Frida el, ah, perdón, sería Abigail el viernes, ok? Para que recuerden, just to remind you, solo para recordarles, ok? So for today is Alejandro. Ok, we have Alejandro for today. Ok, everybody. Thank you very much for connecting. I don't know if you have any question before we, we finish the class. The topic for today is very simple, right? Request, could you or would you mind, okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody, thank you for connecting. Uh, see you tomorrow and good night. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, good night. Bye. Good night and goodbye. Good night, everybody. Ok, Alejandro, let's, let's wait, que creo que los que estaban así conectados sin, sin sí, cámara, no. como que se les ha olvidado, creo yo ya han dejado encendido. O ya se durmieron. <risa> Nelson tiene audio ahorita. Sí, sí, pero Nelson sí está conectado, Nelson is connected. Ok. Juan Carlos okay. Salas y yo se ni que estaban solo de oyentes, pero Ajá. necesito sacarlos antes de iniciar, no pueden estar conectados. Juan Carlos okay. Salas, Jocelyn. Sorry, guys, you can be connected. No pueden estar conectados. You can be connected. Bueno, let's do it. Creo que no sé. Me puedo, aquí dice remover una, una opción, pero este, mm, yeah. creo que lo puedo remover de un solo de toda la plataforma. <ríe> Porque intenté con Jocelyn, yo creo que, que, que eso pasó ahorita, pero ya vamos a ver qué pasó. We'll see okay. what happened. Ok. So, uh, so, Alejandro, this space is for you. So, uh, please, if you have any questions, it's your time, ok? Eh, que si yo tengo alguna pregunta. Yes, or doubts, or anything you want to know about, about English, right? Is your space. Okay. Um, no. En cuanto a lo... I don't understand a little is... Um, pero ya es un poco pasado. Okay. Mm. 
lo que es eh, Uh, well, cuando usamos, por ejemplo, en las oraciones, our company is considered uh, the best manufacturer. Mm -hmm. uh, allí este, sigo sin entender cuándo es, es que debo de usar. Voice. Ajá, ajá. ¿Cuándo es que debo de usar la, eh, la ED? Ok. Ok, so, básicamente lo primero que tenemos que saber es que estas terminaciones en español son ado, ido. Uh -huh. Ado, ido, en los verbos, pero de las terminaciones en los verbos, eh, como uh -huh. que considerado o considerada. Ada, ido, eh, ¿qué más? Ah, ado, ido, ada, las terminaciones de los verbos. En so, to, o cho, como hecho, satisfecho, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ajá. O todo como en visto, por ejemplo. Ok, visto. Okay, nuestra, o vista. Nuestra compañía es vista como... Ok. En este caso, la, hablando de las terminaciones. Talking about the endings. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahora bien, en este caso lo que queremos resaltar, esto, este tema es el passive voice, la voz pasiva. Déjame, ah, compa ah, déjame compartirte la pantalla. Ok. Let me share screens. Vaya. Ok. En este caso lo que queremos eh, resaltar es... Es que esas oraciones, tal vez lo que, donde nos hemos confundido un poquito, es que tenemos oraciones activas y oraciones pasivas. Vaya, imagínate, dos formas, ¿verdad? La oración activa y oración pasiva. Ahora bien, uh -huh. imagínate que en la oración activa, el ejemplo sería um, Our company, por ejemplo. Um, our company provides ok Provides, ¿qué provee tu compañía, por ejemplo? Provides, yes. ¿qué provee? Frozen food. Frozen food, ok. Frozen food. Es solo un ejemplo. Our company provides frozen food, ok. Nuestra compañía provee comida en... Ah, ya había escrito frozen aquí. Frozen food. Nuestra compañía provee eh, comida congelada. Hola, frozen food. Hola. Ahora bien, si yo quiero pasar este ejemplo en activo a pasivo, que es lo que hemos estado viendo, voy a usar el verbo is, si es singular, y el verbo are, si es plural. Sí, ¿Qué es lo okay. que voy a hacer? Esto de acá, mira, frozen uh -huh. food, esto se llama objeto. Uh -huh. Ahora, el objeto va a pasar a ser sujeto, y lo voy a usar al principio, ¿ok? Y voy a decir en, el, en la voz pasiva. Frozen food is, is provided, tal vez podríamos decir, is provided by our company. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, ¿qué es lo que estoy haciendo? Aquí lo que importa es la compañía, ¿verdad? Que la compañía provee comida. Eh, congelada. congelada, pero aquí lo que importa no es la compañía, lo que importa es la comida congelada ah. es la acción la que importa, ok, y uso el is, ok, y luego el verbo que va en pasado participio, como es regular le pongo una, una d o una ed uh -huh, okay, en este caso, provided frozen food is provided by our company okay? comida congelada es provista, la, el definado tal, lo que te dije el to por uh -huh. nuestra compañía, por ejemplo ok te doy otro ejemplo. Eh, consider, lo que tú me decías. Uh -huh. Ajá. Nuestra compañía es considerada, por ejemplo, una pionera en comida congelada. ¿okay? ¿Cómo uh -huh. quedaría el ejemplo? <coughs> Hablando siempre de voz pasiva, ¿verdad? Mm, our, our, our company. Ajá. Our company. Ajá. Is considered. Is considered. Ajá. Aquí le pongo la ED. La... la... Uh -huh. La ED, ok, is considered a pioneer, for example. A pioneer, una pionera in frozen food, ok. okay. Frozen food. Otra vez, ¿qué es lo que me importa? La compañía, our company, ok. La acción, esa acción es la que me importa, que es considerada una pionera en la comida congelada. Luego siempre uso is porque el sujeto está en... 
singular. Siempre uso el uh -huh. is. Y luego el verbo, que sería en. Este verbo uh -huh. va en pasado. Oh, perdón, boté los ejemplos. Bueno, pero la idea es que este verbo va en past participle. ¿Ok? Pasado participio. Ahí mandaron una lista. Ahí mandaron una lista de, de verbos al grupo. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Eh, entonces, esto no tiene nada que ver cuando, por ejemplo, el verbo lo cambiamos a ING. En, en oraciones. En presente simple, ¿no? No, no, no. Aquí en este caso no. En este caso no. En este caso, por eso se llama voz pasiva. Porque lo que nos importa es la acción, no el sujeto de la acción. ¿Ok? Es lo que te explicaba. Sí, aquí ya lo voy entendiendo. Uh -huh. Sí, básicamente uh -huh. eso. Vaya, por ejemplo, otro, otro ejemplo sería um, I know, yo te podría decir I know your company provides frozen food. I know, ok, your company provides frozen food. I know, estoy usando el verbo know, saber. Ok, el presente del verbo saber es no, pero el pasado participio es known, porque es un verbo irregular. Entonces voy a usar el pasado participio que sería known. Ok, no. known. Ahí voy a decir, our company is known. Nuestra compañía es conocida. Our company is known for providing frozen food, por proveer comida. Ok, pero esa es otro, otra cosa Ajá. ya, por providing Ajá. frozen food, por proveer comida Ajá. congelada. Ajá. Ok, uh -huh. entonces prácticamente aquí estamos usando el verbo en pasado participio, como dice. Exactamente, y antes del verbo en pasado participio usamos el verbo to be, que sería is o are. Is o are, esa es la regla. Ajá, exactamente. Esos, uh... Uh -huh. Exactamente, uh -huh. esa es la regla presente para, el, para la voz pasiva. Es que creo que yo lo había confundido con, no me acuerdo cuál es ese que usamos, el ING. Ah, con el presente continuo. With the present continuous. No, no, Ajá, es diferente. Con eso, con tal, vez es, tal vez es porque usamos el is y el are, pero no, es uh -huh, diferente. Uh -huh. It's very different. Aquí en este, en este caso, en el presente continuo, usamos el is y el are y el am, pero el verbo iba con ing. En este uh -huh. caso, el verbo no va con ing, sino que va con ed. ed va uh -huh. en pasado participio. Depende no, de la yo, forma del pero verbo. Yo, yo, o sea, yo los amarraba como que eran de lo mismo. No, no, es diferente. Y como que había una regla que, que, que los mezclaba. Y entonces quizás ahí es donde yo me había confundido. No, no, es different. Son diferentes. They're different. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Un poco más. Ok. Eh, por ejemplo, las frases... Eh, empathy, responsibility, honesty. A los values, los valores, values. Esos no, esos no son, ¿cómo, cómo le diría? Eh, esos solo son como frases o son... son... No, son valores, their values. En la clase veíamos que son valores de las empresas. Responsibility, um, ¿Qué más estaba? Commitment, que es compromiso, commitment. Uh -huh. Estaba empathy, empatía. Habían varios. We had different ones. Sí, este, como por ejemplo, leadership. A mí me confundió porque no vi que terminara eh, con la Y de payaso. No, 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 no. Como no. normalmente termina nosotros. No, 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 neces no, no necesariamente. necesariamente. No necesariamente. Uh -huh. Ahí se traducen, ok, responsabilidad, esa edad. Termina en ye normalmente, como tú dices, ye de payaso, uh -huh. pero en este caso liderazgo. ¿Qué más puede ser? ¿Qué otro valor respect. puede ser en español? Respect, que no termina así, respeto, respeto. Ah, sería respect. Uh -huh. No, no es una regla que deben terminar en ye. Aquí ah, depende del okay. valor. Y ah, pues en este yo me confundí porque dije, o sea, ¿será que todos terminan así? No, no. no porque nada. incluso en la tarea parece que aparece el líder que pongo. Y... Leadership. Ajá. Uh -huh. yo... Sí, me quedé así, ¿qué pongo? Yes. No, 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 no necesariamente. No necesariamente. Ah, okay. It depends on the value. Depende del valor que sea, así se traduce. That's the way you translate it. Uh -huh. okay. Por ahorita, eso sería lo que más tenía yo. Así como que no había caído en el todo, ¿cómo era? Ok. Ok, so in case you have any other questions. Maybe you can, you can text me, no problem. Me puedes escribir okay. si tienes dudas en algo. No hay ningún problema. There's no okay. problem, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for connecting, Alejandro. Okay.
Okay, good night and see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher, see you. Okay, bye.